fixing a cracked windshield in my Jeep Gladiator. The first chip or crack that I've had. Let's see if this stuff works this time. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. And that's right, unfortunately, today I'm going to be trying to fix a crack in the Jeep Gladiator windshield. You know, I've talked about this before on the channels. About 90% of the windshields that you see around here have chips or cracks in them. And now I have one in my Jeep Gladiator. So let me flip you around. I'll show you. It's right here, and it's probably hard to see. Let's see right there uh, right there let me get it uh let's see on something where you can see it like right there that's the chip the crack whatever you want to call it um again it happened on the freeway you know that dreaded noise that when you're driving down the freeway and a stone or something hits your windshield sure enough every time you hear that at least down here you get a chip now the Jeep is known for that with its straight up and down windshield, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Let's take a look at it from the front. And of course, it has to be about in the middle, so I have to straddle everything to get to it. It's right there, that white. There you go. You can see it right there. Get the reflection of the phone in it. That's what I'm going to have to fix. Now, what I'm using is this windshield repair kit. This one happens to be from 3M. Uh, I had another one sitting over there on the workbench, but I was out of resin, so I had to go buy a new one. It's a little bit different setup. This is a bar. You stick it around the hole or the chip, I guess, and this little kind of rubbery part is supposed to go over the hole, and then it uses pressure on the top via this screw-down piece to force the resin down in the hole. Now, before you do that, you're supposed to scrape out any chips, I guess, that might be in the hole. They give you a push pin for that, and then also a razor blade. That's to clean up the resin later. And then you clean it with some alcohol swabs before you put this thing down, and I'll show you that, and inject the resin. This is, of course, the resin. So, first off is to kind of scrape out the hole a little bit with this push pin. And this isn't too complicated. You just kind of want to... Make sure there's no glass, you know, chips or if you will, fragments inside the hole. So you just kind of scrape it a little bit. It's not too complicated. Don't push too hard. I mean, obviously, you don't want to make this worse than it already is. But I'm going to scrape that a little more, then I'll wipe it off with the push pins, and then we'll seat that little square device with the rubber seal on it over this hole that you can see, hopefully, right there. Just kind of wipe over that a little bit get any debris or anything away from it that shouldn't be there not too complicated and alcohol dries in about two seconds so that shouldn't take too long I hope now we're supposed to position this holder thing or this little end that I showed you earlier right over the hole now to do that I have found that if you tighten it down a little bit so that it starts to make contact with the windshield. Uh, it's a little bit easier to tell where to place it. So get that screwed down a little bit and then try to put it right over the hole. I think it helps if you look from the inside. Uh, you'll be able to kind of get a better idea if you're over the hole. You can see hopefully inside or right there. It's right over the chip. So now I gotta make sure I've got it fastened down right. I'll actually loosen it a little bit and then tighten it back down against the glass. And then we'll move on to the resin part. Okay, we've got the resin. They give you this little, I don't know, eyedropper kind of thing to suck it out and get it down in the reservoir. You're supposed to fill it about halfway full. So we're gonna make an attempt to do that. I don't know how much that's gonna be, but let's just squirt it in there and see. Okay, that appears to be about halfway full to me. Now, set this stuff aside and put the plunger in there and tighten the plunger down. That's the next step. So now you're supposed to stick this plunger thing in there and 
push it down and then tighten it. And you're supposed to tighten it, I guess, until you feel pressure. Hopefully it doesn't squirt out in my face. I'm not really feeling any pressure, but whatever. That's as tight as it goes, and I just saw the resin squirt out a little bit. So, I'm gonna grab a cloth, which they recommend, to soak up any excess resin, which is what we want. Then you're supposed to back it off a little. That'll let the air out, they say. And then, crank it back down. Now, take a look on the inside and see if indeed any of the resin is actually going in the crack. It's kind of hard to tell, actually. Uh, I don't really know, but you are supposed to leave it sit for like two minutes, or t up to ten minutes, I believe, to let the resin flow. One other thing I want to note, your windshield is supposed to be at least 70 degrees so that the resin flows properly. Uh, I've got that covered. I'm uh, over 90 out here right now, so I should be golden there. So we're going to let that sit uh, for the amount of time they specify anyway. And we'll see if the resin flows and gets rid of the kind of crack that you can see. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's there. I've let it sit for the required amount of time, 30 minutes. Let's take a look from the inside, see if the crack is gone. I don't think so. Of course, I've been checking it as I've been going along. Uh, you can still see the crack right here. I don't know how well it comes out on camera, but I'm going to pull this thing off and then take another look. Of course, the resin is not cured yet, so maybe that would go away upon curing. We shall see, but let's pull that thing off. All right, it actually doesn't look too bad. I think I'm gonna go with it. We'll see if the next step uh, does any more with it. And that is to put a drop of resin over the hole and then a real thin film material over that and then pull it out in the sun and let it cure. Okay, there's the little piece of film over it. You can see there's a lot of resin, <laughs> but it'll scrape off with a, um, a razor blade. So now we pull it out in the sun, let it sit for 10 minutes the UV rays actually cure the resin. So we'll do that, then we'll get back on, take a look. It has been 20 minutes, according to directions, actually a little bit longer, not much. So it's time to pull this off, and hopefully it's cured. It would appear to be, nothing's moving around. By the way, I put tape on it only because it's windy outside, and in the past I didn't, and this thing blew off. So given the experience from before, I thought it'd be best to tape it on. Uh, you wouldn't have to do that if it wasn't windy outside, I suppose. Now, let's see if indeed, number one, it's dry. Yeah, it is. That's good. So now you just clean it up with the razor blade. Go ahead and scrape off the excess resin. Not too difficult to do when you're dealing with glass. It's kind of like removing a sticker. So I'm gonna go ahead, and scrape all that off. And I thought for a minute I couldn't see the damage, but I can. It's right here, but let's hope that uh, it's nice and smooth. It feels that way with the razor blade. And then I'll show you guys on the inside trying to make sure any resin that I might have slopped around anywhere else is off. And you can wash this off immediately, by the way. Once it's cured, it's cured. So there's no waiting period or anything like that. So there you go. That's the fix on the outside. And you can still see the little uh, mark. I don't know, let's see, it's right here, uh, right there. So you can still see it. Um, but I'm hoping from the inside it's at least filled. So let's take a look at it from the inside next. Okay, let's take a look at it from the inside. I did clean the windshield, by the way, so uh, it's nice and clean. Right there is the hole or the crack. And it's actually really just a hole. It did do a good job at filling most of the crack. So I guess for what it's worth, kind of hard to see trying to get you guys in the right light there. You can see that dot right there, that's it. 
And if that's all it ever does, I'll be happy with it. No big deal. So anyway, that is how to use uh, that home repair windshield chip or crack stuff. Uh, would I recommend it? Eh, you know, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it works okay, sometimes it doesn't. So buy it at your own risk. It's not that expensive. I mean, compared to having someone do it or replacing a windshield, uh, it's pretty darn economical. But like I said, kind of hit or miss. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Would you live with it the way that it is? Or would you replace the whole windshield? No way am I doing that. Unless, of course, it webs out and goes crazy. We shall see. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, sitting right over there. And the Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks. Currently, the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.